Hi everyone. As we began editing this video post, we realized that there was too much in it, and so we've decided to publish it in two separate posts. Today, then, is Reflections on Japan, Part 1. Three years ago, on March 11, 2011, our family was preparing to drive out for a week-long March break vacation. It's my morning practice to review the international news, and so that morning, as usual, I went online. The news reports included a story about an earthquake off the coast of Japan, where SEND has a large ministry team. The earthquake itself had occurred several hours earlier, and already there were reports of a large tsunami wave that had washed over eastern Japan. We'd lost contact with much of our team as electricity and water service already had been interrupted. I remember calling out to Kathleen and explaining that our departure would be interrupted, delayed, as I called back into the office and our team began to enact our emergency plans. Thousands of people lost their lives, and hundreds of thousands of buildings were damaged or destroyed, and the people of Japan were in great need. And the world responded, and our team in Japan, the missionaries there, did their best to respond as well, gathering clean water and food and shelter and getting up to that northern region to help as best they could. Six months after the disaster, our team began to form plans for longer-range ministry in that northern region. We created a video to summarize our vision at that time, and this last month, Kathleen and I had an opportunity to visit that area to get an update and to see how God has been at work. Kath and I were humbled and amazed to see what's been unfolding. Because of the initial response, and now the sustained generosity of many Christ followers, both Japanese and foreign, the Christian faith has an improved image and credibility in the region. People are more responsive when they hear about the gospel. Local churches that have been praying and preparing for years now have unexpected ministry opportunities and openings that we can help with. During the night that we stayed over in the Sendai region just a couple of weeks ago, both Kathleen and I were shaken awake by an earthquake. In the morning, our hostess Eileen asked us whether we had felt it, and we both excitedly responded, yes, we had, it woke us up. She smiled gently and explained that that earthquake she would estimate to be about 2.0 on the Richter scale. And so we wondered again in our hearts, what must it have been like to be shaken by such an earthquake, to see the tsunami wash in and take thousands of lives, and the resulting fear that still goes on in the Fukushima region. Would you pray with us for the people of Japan?